What's good with yours? Forever Faithful Jaguars family. What's happening? This is your boy Jagging Off 904 du Bold City Duval. We in the fucking building. It's time for another video. So, I want to address a, um, an article that uh, Big Cat Country just put out. Now, like I said, I don't fuck with half of Big Cat Country's articles because most of them are bullshit and, um, just are basically the opinion, the dumbass opinion of Alfie Crows. But this dumbass opinion of Alfie Crows, which may not even really be an opinion, well, part of it is, but this was kind of intriguing to me. That um, so I figured I'd, I'd touch on this real quick. So it was rumored, and I don't know how true this is. It might be true. It might not be that the Carolina Panthers who drafted Christian McCaffrey were trying to trade up with the uh, San Francisco 49ers to take, to jump us and take Leonard Fournette. So, here's the thing, so, here's what I, th what I think about it. Like, first of all, God, that, that didn't happen because, you know, Fournette's going to be a monster for us and I'm happy every day that we drafted him. But, let's explore, but, Let's ex let's say this did happen. Let's explore the realm of possibility of if this would have happened. Now, first of all, it said that the, they would have moved up to two to get him, which no, that's retarded. Because look, the Chicago Bears threw their whole fucking draft away basically to move up into one spot to take Mitchell Trubisky because I guess they feared someone else coming up to take him. But see. If San Francisco would have accepted that trade, they would have still traded with Chicago and then pro and then got more picks out of the Carolina Panthers to drop down to eight, and still would have would have made that trade. So it still would have worked out. It still could have worked out. So to not take Chicago's trade and not and just do Carolina's would have been stupid. Like why would they do that? That, that that's retarded. Like if you can screw Chicago and then move down with Carolina, why the hell not? Because that would have got a hell of a lot more draft picks to San Francisco than what they already had. So, that part of the article didn't make sense to me. And then, of course, if the Jack, now, let's say the Carolina Panthers would have, we'll say, th we'll say th three here because that's what I think they would have done. Let's say the Panthers would have took four and at three, and then the Jaguars at four. Of course, for some reason, Alfie Crow had such a hard on for Solomon Thomas that he was like, "Oh, and the Jaguars likely would have put picked Solomon Thomas." How many? Like, it's even a couple months after the draft that I still gotta go through this shit with people, and it just amazes me. Solomon Thomas, any another defensive end, that was not the right pick. There's a reason. We wouldn't have took him. There's a reason we didn't draft Jonathan Allen. Because the fourth overall pick for someone who's going to be a rotational player when our main problem was offense, and when we put a lot of, and when we addressed the defense a lot in free agency, that have been dumb. Dewan Smoot is going to be doing what fucking Solomon Thomas would have done, rotating with Calais Campbell. That's dumb. Why would you spend your first round pick to do that? I keep saying it, and this get and this got this fucking. I don't even know what to call him. That call him like he had such a hard on for the possibility of us drafting Solomon Thomas. I don't fucking get it, and I, for the life of me, will never get it. But, but if this were to have happened, here's what I would have done, and probably what we should have done. If this were to happen, if that was to happen, now I said at the beginning of this draft, from where we were, only two players were worth picking in the top five to me: Miles Garrett and Leonard Fournette. If we weren't gonna get, well, well, we definitely weren't gonna get Miles Garrett, and I wasn't really that pressed on him anyway. But in our case, Leonard Fournette was really the only person worth staying at four to get to me. So, 
if he was unavailable or he wasn't in the heart of hearts, the pick, the pick that t Dave Caldwell wanted, I would have wanted to trade down. And with the way this draft worked out, it could have worked for us. Now, I'm going to make all the Florida State, now, I'm going to make all the Florida State fan Dalvin Cook dick riders real happy in a second. But here's what would have, but here's what probably should have happened. It would have been a realistic possibility then, since we didn't, if we wouldn't have drafted Solomon Thomas, for someone to come up and get him. Like, say, a team like Philadelphia or the Redskins, because they picked, um, what the fuck was it? Redskins got Jonathan Allen and, um, what the hell was it? Oh, Derek Barnett. The Eagles got Derek Barnett. So, one of those could have got, could have moved up and got an upgrade and took Solomon Thomas if we could have pulled a trade off but here's what here's what pro likely would have happened though let's say we moved down all the way to where the Redskins were picking which I think which I believe was 21 nine, maybe 19 correct yeah I think 19 correct me if I'm wrong but we moved down to 19 with the four skins and um with the way that with the way that worked out, at that point, we probably should have e we probably should have either taken Forrest Lamp or that tackle that uh, Denver got. It. His first name's Ryan. His last name starts with a K. I forget what the fuck his name was, or even Cam Robinson. But in this in this particular scenario, I'm gonna say we I'm gonna say we draft Forrest Lamp. In the, fir in the first round. Or you could have even... Or you could have even drafted Jonathan Allen there. Because at 19, that was a pretty good value pick for him to fall all the way down there. So let's say one of those... So let's say one of those three guys. So you make that happen. But more in, partic more in particular, I would have gone more towards offensive line. Because there would have been... Because there it would have been a prime spot to pick an offensive li lineman. Because there really wasn't a top five transcending talent at left tackle or any other offensive line position in that draft. So, either Forrest Lamp or the tackle that Denver got. Then, in the second round, this is where all the Florida State dick riders would have been, would have been fucking happy. Because then, then, we, with an extra second round pick, and our original second round pick, then that's when we picked Dalvin Cook, so y'all be happy as shit, and then, and then in the second, and then in the, and then with the other pick, that's when you then possibly address defensive end or or even get it or even um what you call it get Cam Robinson then or take Cam Ro or take Cam Robinson first with the what the hell was it the thirty third pick we got him at, I think, no, not 33rd, um, 34, 35th, maybe, they, there you take Cam Robinson, and then, then, Dalvin Cook is available for, or you, to get him before the Vikings would have drafted him, so, there's your offensive line fish, you know, Forrest Lamp, Cam Robinson, and then, with the extra second round pick we get, and we probably, and to move down as far as the Redskins were, Probably would have gotten a first round pick from next for next year. Got um, what you call it, and then got Dalvin Cook this this year in the process. So that would have been the smart thing instead of having Alfie Crow have a hard on for Solomon Thomas and taking him. But let's let, let's get back to reality. Thankfully, this did not all happen, and luckily, I have this jersey today because this trade did not work out and the Jacksonville Jaguars have Leonard Fournette and not the Carolina Panthers. So, count our football, count our lucky stars that the Jaguars got Leonard Fournette. You hear me, Alfie? The Jaguars drafted Leonard Fournette, not Solomon Thomas, so get off his dick. He's a 49er. We don't need to fucking worry about him anymore. We have this guy who's going to be a fucking beast for us. Watch what the fuck I tell you. Now, that about the, that about does it for us. I want I just wanted to explore that possibility scenario, but 
hey, like I said, I'm running. Like I said, I'm running out of shit to talk about. So, I guess it's a good what if scenario. But anyways, um, been real. It's your boy jagging off, and I'm checking the fuck on out. Have a good night.